As a software developer, we always wondered what are the latest happenings in the software industry and how do you keep track of yourself in order to keep yourself updated with the industry. News Primers is going to solve that particular problem by getting you all the latest release updates from different softwares across the industry. The software updates which we are going to cover in News Primers will be updated in GitHub every time whenever we do a new News Primer series. As of now, this is the first series in News Primers. So you can see only one index currently and if you go to that particular index, this particular file covers what all releases are covered in this particular news series on 12th May 2018. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Angular has released 6.0.0 and recently yesterday they had released another patch 6.0.1. So right now we have two versions of Angular released in May 6.0.0 and 6.0.1. So this includes lots of updates to the TypeScript with 2.7 version of TypeScript, RxJS 6.0 and TSLib 1.9. Additional to that, now Angular platform server will now depend on the Domino's 2.0. So if you want to take a look at the uh, release notes, do check out the release notes of Angular. The link to the release notes of Angular is present in the description below. Same way with all the other frameworks or the libraries, you can check the release notes in the description below so that you don't have to lose those links. I'll mention that in the description of every video in this particular series so you can go there and take a look at that. Hibernate has now released a more stable version which is 5.2 which supports for Java 8 out of the box. Also it adds support to Jcash and also they have consolidated the entity manager in this particular release. The next version 5.3 has been promoted to the development stage and it uses JPA 2.2 and inheritance caching. Do check out the Hibernate website and if you want to try out the new versions of Hibernate, feel free to add these dependencies in your project and use these latest features which Hibernate provides. JHipster has released 4.14.4 which is a new version right now. This particular version has been created as a patch version for supporting Spring Boot 1.5.13 because there were some issues with related to security. So JHipster has now upgraded their version to 4.14.4. If you need to upgrade JHipster, do check out that release notes in the description below. You can do a JHipster upgrade or you can use Yarn to upgrade JHipster if you are using it. JetBrains has now released Kotlin native version 0.7. Additional to that, they have also released Kotlin 1.2.40. There are lots of bug fixes which are related to toolings with respect to the Kotlin version 1.2. For more information about these bug fixes, do check out the Kotlin blog. The link is in the description below. As you guys know, Spring is one of the most active open source product which is releasing lots of new libraries, new versions every day into production. As I said, Spring has released lots of versions. Let's see one by one. Spring IO platform has been now released for Cairo and Brussels for SR1 and SR10 respectively. Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.5 version has been upgraded to RC1. Spring Boot has been released for 1.5.13 and 2.0.2. So those are the two latest versions of Spring Boot available currently. Additionally, Spring Security OAuth has been released for 2.3.3, 2.2.2, 2.1.2, 2.0.15. .2 Spring Security has been released for 4.2.6 and 5.0.5. .5. Spring Framework has been 
upgraded to 5.0.6 and 4.3.13. Additionally, Spring Cloud Task 2.0.0 release is now available for everyone to use. Amazon Web Services has released a new product or a inline service called Amazon Game Lift. This is useful in auto scaling your application. You can auto scale your microservices based on the resource allocation more efficiently and it can reduce your hosting cost based on the resources which are being used. So that is something new which Amazon has introduced. Additional to that, they have revamped their console experience for AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So these are some things which Amazon has released in the last few weeks. Microsoft has released lots of upgrades to Microsoft Azure in the last few weeks. If you're working on Azure and if you want to check what are the different fixes which Amazon has done, do check out the link for the Microsoft Azure updates. There are lots of them. You can take a look at the ones which are relevant to you. Atlassian has upgraded the Bitbucket server version to 5.10. They have released lots of security fixes. There are lots of events related to webhooks which are now integrated to the Bitbucket server. The look and feel of the uh, plugins upgrade has been changed. Also the deployment and the monitoring of the data center article has been released. If you're working with Bitbucket and if you want to upgrade that into your firm, do check out the latest version of Bitbucket server and do take care of the upgrades as and when required. The Gradle team has now upgraded the Gradle version to 4.7. This now supports Java JDK 10. So people who are working on JDK 10 they can use the latest version of Gradle which is 4.7. Previously Gradle was not supporting Java 10. Now it is supporting Java 10 with this new version. There are additional bug fixes and improvements which are done in the Gradle version. Do check out the release notes which are there in the description below. JetBrains has upgraded their IntelliJ IDEA to 2018.1.3 that is the latest version available right now it got released few days back there are a bunch of bug fixes and small improvements which are now available in this new particular version so do check that out by upgrading your IntelliJ idea to the latest version docker has done a small minor fix in order to not display hyphen dev in the output so that has been released very recently additional to that there were some changes to the swarm manager in the docker engine so that is also released some time back apart from that the docker for community edition for the windows the docker community edition for windows and mac has been upgraded with the newer versions with lots of minor bug fixes do check out and upgrade the docker engine if you are running these docker containers inside your premise or inside your laptop those were the different software upgrades which i have currently for today in the next software news episode you will be able to see the latest updates which are happening from may 12th to that particular day if i missed any of these updates or if i miss any products do let me know in the comment section below also if you want to provide any suggestions to improve this particular series do let me know that as well I hope you like this particular video. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.